Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to unbox and flip through a very special UK exclusive edition of The Lord of the Rings. It is leather bound and illustrated. It looked absolutely gorgeous online. I am so excited to finally see it in person, so follow me to Middle Earth. How cool is this? The box it came in is a map of Middle Earth. My brother told me not to throw away the box. So, I probably won't be throwing away the box. It is really cool. It would be very hard to throw this away. Literally every single side. Like, what? How cool is that? Okay, so there were two editions available. There was a standard and a deluxe. I liked the look of the deluxe better, so that's what I went for. Oh my god. <laughs> understand how gorgeous this book is don't worry I'll take it out of the plastic so you can see it without reflections okay the book has been unwrapped but before we look at it let's look at this information paper that came with it I'm going to go down slowly so you can see information about the book and what it includes. Go ahead and pause and you can read all of this. Alrighty, it's all red. This symbol stands for J.R.R. Tolkien. Like, how beautiful is this? Very thick, as expected. If you've read the books, you understand why this is so thick. It's a lot. <laughs> okay, here's the front of the slip case. I liked the color scheme of this edition better. The red, the black, the gold. I mean, how freaking cool is that? I believe the standard edition was white, and it was pretty, but why not go all in on the deluxe edition? So that's what I did. Here's the spine of the book. All right. Oh my gosh. One last look for the slipcase before I put it to the side. How gorgeous is that? Oh my gosh. And. I don't know. <laughs> I love Lord of the Rings, but I'm not a super fan. I don't know what this means, but this is cool. What is it? What? Oh my gosh, what is this? I'm gonna have to look this up and put it on the screen. But this is so cool, even though I don't know what it is. She is stunning. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna get this black book so dirty. I'm gonna try really hard not to. 
I have cheap mass market paperback editions, so I'll probably keep those and read those copies. And this one is just for display, strictly for display. Got some white marks on it. Oh well. Oh. This is cool. I didn't realize there would be some extras. I'm just excited for the book. If you want to read, I'll go through very slowly. Looks like this is the king's letter from the epilogue. Oh my gosh. This is a print of the box. Guess I don't have to keep the box. <laughs> the box is cool. Oh my gosh. Um, hold on. Let me move the book. Let's get the book out of the way. We're here for the map, right? Obviously, you've seen the box, so you know what's on here. But give you a quick glance. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking cool. Back to the star. Look at that. This is why she is thick. It's six books. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> Hands down, one of my biggest reading accomplishments was finishing The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Like, one of the biggest undertakings as a reader. And I did it. I freaking did it. Prologue. Concerning Hobbits. On page 17, we have The Fellowship of the Ring being the first part of the Lord of the Rings. Book one. Okay, and here we have an illustration of part of the map. A part of the Shire. Rainy. Going to flip a few pages to 27. The hill. Hobbiton across the water. Oh my gosh. This is. 
stunning. I actually can't even believe it. Like, I want to jump into this photo and live there for the rest of my life. That is gorgeous. Next, we're going to flip to page 47, Bag and Underhill. This is more of a neat sketch type illustration. So cute. I've always said that I'm an elf and I would live wherever Legolas is, but the Shire is a very close second. A very close second. Page 98, the beginning of chapter 5. This is Buckland Fairy. This looks like maybe watercolor. So beautiful. 116 Old Man Willow. One fifty two plan of Brie. Two sixteen. Rivendell, speaking of my elf home. Oh my gosh. Guys. Oh my gosh. I'm going to live here so bad and marry Legolas. <laughs> Look how gorgeous it is. I can't believe how dynamic this illustration is, just like the one of the Shire. Like, as I'm moving the camera around, it feels like the landscape is popping off the page. Oh my gosh. So stunning. 280 Rivendale looking east. Two ninety six contour map of the misty mountains around Mirror Mirror. Sorry if I butcher that name. Mirror Mirror. I'll be honest, that's a hard one to say. <laughs> I like how the illustrations are a mix of sketches and fully colored illustrations. 300 Moria Gate.
304. Three nineteen just going to flip three twenty This is just like what was inside the white envelope. It's in the book as well. Three thirty six, another full colored illustration. So gorgeous. The Forest of Lothorian in Spring. This is stunning. Seriously, can Middle Earth please be real? Please. I can't even believe how stunning these are. 392 Raros Falls and the Tin Drock. I am doing my best with these Middle Earth names, okay? <laughs> I do not have a Middle Earth dialect coach or accent coach. Page 408 is where the two towers begins, being the second part of the Lord of the Rings. If I'm not mistaken, these book cover illustrations have been used before. But maybe I'm just making that up. <laughs> maybe I'm just thinking of covers that are similar. Book three. The Departure of Boromir. 458 Fangorn Forest. Spot the little hobbit. There he is. Five twenty eight Helm's Deep 
and the Hornburg with Helm's Deep and surrounding lands. Five fifty four or thunk. I think that's how you say it. Sorry. I am not a hundred percent sure. Seven o two, little mini minus more gold gates. Going to flip to seven o four, minus more gold and the crossroads. Seven ten Shalob's Lair Shalob Shalob Shalob. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember how they say it in the movies. I realize it's sacrilege <laughs> to bring up movies when you're discussing a book, but. If a book has a movie, I usually rely on that for pronunciation. Seven sixteen. Speaking of the spider whose name we cannot pronounce, plan of Shalab's lair. I'm scared of spiders, so I'm very sorry to this spider whose name I can't pronounce. Very sorry. 742 Sirith Ongol from the second stair. Did I butcher that? Sirith, Sirith Ongol. I'm trying to talk like I have a Middle Earth accent. <laughs> They say it's so fancy, Sirithungul. Oh, that sounded right. Even if it wasn't, it sounded right. <laughs> the Return of the King being the third part of the Lord of the Rings. Ooh. If these haven't been used as book covers, they should. So good. Book five, chapter one, minus Tirith, minus, minus, no, minus, yeah, I think it's minus, minus Tirith. <laughs> Seven fifty Six 
Dan Berg minus Tirith. Is wait, 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 is this the bridge where they have that battle and Gimli and Legolas are competing for the most kills? Oh my gosh, that's like one of the best scenes of the movie. <laughs> I love that scene so much. 794 Dun Harrow? Dun Harrow? Dunharo. Dune Haro? <laughs> uh, take your pick on which one sounds the most correct. Sometimes I wish I could just talk to Tolkien. Like, can you please confirm how to say all the things in your book, sir. Please and thank you. 898, the Tower of Sirith Ungol. Nine eighteen Mordor, or as they say in the movies dramatically, Mordor. <laughs> this one looks super cool. Nine forty two Barador. Oh my gosh, that one I definitely butchered. Maybe if I try and roll the R's. Barador. <laughs> oh my gosh, cast me in the next movie. I'm ready. Don't even need an accent, coach. Gonna nail it. <laughs> Nine fifty, the arm of Sauron. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, my brother is going to love this one. He's all about all things red, black, and creepy. <laughs> In this fits that category. Last one. This is page 1032 or 1032. The white tree and stars. And the rest is history and information, which is super cool, but no more illustrations. So that is all he wrote, or in this case, all he illustrated. The last thing I have to show you is a second map. We see Rohan, Gondor, Mordor. Very, very cool.
Obviously, I can't speak for all Lord of the Rings fans, but in my opinion, this edition and all the extras is perfect for Middle Earth super fans. This would make a great holiday gift. Keep in mind, this is a UK exclusive edition. Plan accordingly. Shipping from the UK already takes more time than usual. Also, there are a lot of shipping delays right now. Even though I pre-ordered my copy, it still took more time than usual because of shipping delays. It is frustrating, I'll admit that, but it isn't the end of the world. I promise you will get it eventually. If you would like to purchase a copy for yourself or as a gift, I will leave all the necessary links down below. If you make a purchase because of my video, I would really appreciate if you would write in the notes section, Lauren Michelle from YouTube sent me. Let me know in the comments down below which illustration was your favorite. It's close between Rivendell and The Shire, but I'm an elf at heart, so... I'm gonna go with Rivendell, but the Shire, stunning, gorgeous. I love it all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. Also, click the bell to turn on your notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye!